These food kitchens and tents were set up in enormous haste after the start of the war over a month ago. Now there are thousands of people arriving here every day, and in particular since the announcement by President Zelensky to evacuate the cities of eastern Ukraine. People were literally living in the bomb shelters. Two missiles hit my house, one hit one side, one the other. For me, that was the last straw. To move from your own home, from the place where you were born, where every millimeter of your existence is inscribed, is not easy. You leave everything and more besides. It's too hard to bear. It's, after arriving at Lviv Central Station, all these people have come from eastern Ukraine, completely confused, not knowing where their lives are going to go, are received, first of all, at transit centers like this one, where they can stay for 24 hours. They're given accommodation, a roof over their heads, some food, and then they're moved on to other reception centers, sometimes to families, sometimes to churches and schools, where they will live for the next few weeks. For the moment, we haven't had any problems with the number of places. We've got enough food, enough beds, and so on. We are doing our best. At the start of this war, as many as 30,000 people were fleeing to Lviv every single day. And so far, the city authorities have managed to cope. But with a new phase of the war starting in the east of the country, the chances are that even more people will start to come to Lviv. The challenge for this city is going to be enormous.